So this is my most requested video. I thought I would go ahead and take a couple of minutes to tell you guys how to play MapleStory M on the PC. And when I actually play MapleStory M, I do play on my phone, but I also play on the computer when I'm recording videos and when I'm at home a lot. And I do this using an emulator. So if you guys are already pros with emulators and you kind of already know this stuff and you already use emulators, this video is probably not going to help you as much. This is really just going to be a very basic getting started and getting into emulators type video. And also just telling you guys a few tips to, to make sure that when you do play MapleStory M, it's playing as best and as optimized and high performance as possible. So let's go ahead and get started. I use the Nox emulator. Uh, this isn't sponsored. This isn't, I, I didn't get paid to say that. I haven't paid, been paid or I haven't made any money off of my YouTube channel. I'll just say that right now. Not a single penny, not even from ads. I have tried Bluestacks and personally, I prefer Nox. Bluestacks is a lot more laggy for me and I don't like it as much, but that's just my personal pick. If you guys already know emulators and all that and you prefer Bluestacks or another one is Mimu. If you guys prefer something else, that's totally, totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. They're all pretty similar. They're all going to accomplish pretty much the same stuff. But just for this video and just for instruction purposes, I'm going to go ahead and be using Nox. So I'll go ahead and include a download link in the description to actually download Nox. Uh, it's just downloadnox.com. Pretty simple. This is just going to be the page. Just go ahead and download it, set it up, uh, just like any other program for your actual computer. Get it started. And I'm going to go ahead and restart my emulator just so I could show you guys a couple of things. So let's go ahead and restart it. And uh, I'll go ahead and tell you guys a few tips to also improve your performance as well because a lot of people have told me that when they do play Nox that it is laggy or they're having problems. Keep in mind this is completely free too. Um, it doesn't cost any money, but the trade-off is you did, you did just see a couple ads at the start of the screen, and you'll also see some little paid promotions here. Don't worry about it, you know, it's just, it's just the trade-off for this program being completely free. So that's good news. This isn't going to cost you any money or anything like that. So it is fantastic. This is completely free. So once you actually sign into your emulator, if it's your first time, it's probably going to ask you to connect your Google Play account, do some really basic stuff. And once you end up doing that, this is going to be the home screen right here. You're going to see pretty much everything except for MapleStory M. Uh, there's going to be some ads like these are ads here, but I don't think I've actually changed my home screen at all. So this is probably what your home screen is going to look like, except for the MapleStory M. So what you want to do to actually get MapleStory M is go to the Google Play Store and then just like you are on your phone, just look up MapleStory M and then it's just going to ask you, just like if you are on your phone, just go ahead and install it. I've already installed it here, so it'll actually ask me to open it up because I've already got it installed. Just like on your phone, of course, it's going to, I think MapleStory M is what, one or two gigabytes, so make sure you have a decent internet connection, no bandwidth restrictions or anything like that. Go ahead and install it just like normal. And then when you actually end up opening it up, uh, there's going to be some updates and it should pretty much function exactly like it does on your phone. I don't think I've had any problems with MapleStory M. Some apps and some games, there'll, there'll be a couple little problems and restrictions here and there. I know a couple of people have told me that they, they get stuck on some loading screens here and there. Just make sure that you're playing on the right region, of course, the America server, if you guys are in the Americas, just like right here. And if you guys do run into any problems, by the way, please, please feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm going to be taking a lot of time to just go ahead and answer any questions or any problems that you guys have about this. Because, of course, everybody might, you know, your computer might have some sort of issue or problem that somebody else might not have. And, of course, that's something that I'm probably going to help you with individually. I can't really do that publicly in a video because everybody might have a slightly different problem. But besides that, MapleStory M should run just like it does on your phone. Let me just go ahead and go to my character screen, just like I was at before. Here are my characters. And uh, to improve your performance, let me go ahead and, and share with you guys a couple settings here. So uh, when you go to your emulator or you go to Nox, there's this little gear icon right here. That's going to be the settings. And it is going to be an advanced settings. This is a pretty important menu. If you have a decent computer, make sure that you're running it on as many cores as you possibly can. Obviously, this is going to improve your performance. So I am running on four cores. If I were to switch it to one, I would definitely notice much more lag and, and performance issues. Of course, make sure that the resolution is good and that it's to your liking. And uh, make sure the frame rate is also uh, to your liking as well. So there's also the option when you use Nox 
to go ahead and set up some key bindings, just like I have right here. So here is some personalized key bindings. I believe there's some default ones that actually uh, start off. Uh, I think it's pretty similar to this, but there might be some stuff that I got rid of. So you can go ahead and you can use your keyboard and your mouse to play MapleStory M, and you can set this up however you want, of course. So you could see mine is set up here. Mine's going to be a bit different than yours, but I have my uh, teleport key set to my, one of my mouse keys so I can actually end up clicking one of my mouse buttons to actually teleport. So this is something that is obviously really cool playing on the PC. You can kind of set this stuff up how you like. And to answer the question one more time, because I know a couple of people are going to ask me, is there a chance of being banned or anything like that? And the answer is no. Emulators are completely fine. This is 100% allowed. Uh, the game has even said that this is totally fine. As long as you are not using the emulator to do anything automatic or botting or crazy scripts running or something you know very sketchy it's totally fine as long as you're using it to play the game like you normally would on your phone if you're not doing it for anything suspicious it is 100 percent okay you are not going to get banned and it's totally totally fine so that's going to be about it i don't think that i mean this is really simple i i mean i know that some people might have some little issues here and there but if you guys have any questions or you need any help just let me know in the comments this is something that i'm going to have, have to help you out with individually because i feel like everybody might have little different issues that they might be running into so again i'll include the download link in the description if you guys want to use a different emulator that's totally fine this is just the one that's worked the best for me and uh thank you very much everybody for all the support on the channel once again we are getting very close to 1500 subscribers maybe we'll go ahead and we'll do some more treasure box pulls or something fun and exciting when we do hit 1500 subscribers so thank you again everyone have a wonderful day if you guys enjoyed this feel free to toss a like that would help out more than you can imagine and until next time this is salt of the salty guild signing out